Hi guys, so we were just watching a video on how to take notes and we found some treasure words that we want to use in our research paper. So I just wanted to pause there and then switch over so that you can see what we need to do with those words. So we've been learning about how to take notes. We know that we have a few categories we're looking for, habitat, diet, what they look like, and we'll be looking for some interesting facts. We've already listened to our video, and here are some helpful hints when we're looking at each of these categories. But I want to get back to our video, and here we left off oops, where the poison dart frogs, we found what they wanted, that what they were eating. So we decided that the first few sentences were not good information for what we were looking for. And then we got to the part where we found out what they ate. It said poison dart frogs eat meadow plankton and small insects. So yes, there are treasure words here. We found that they eat small insects and meadow plankton. So when we note take, those are our treasure words. Treasure words equals notes. And when we, this is an important fact about note taking. It says, do we need to write complete sentences? And the answer is no, this is not our paper. This is just for us to go back and use the information to write our paper. So I wanted to make that special point that when you write these things down in your notes, you only have to write the words. You can even write um, little bullets, and I'll show you what I mean by that. This is what our note papers look like. You have to use, they're in your canvas. You can use regular paper at home if you want to, or you can write on the ones that are in canvas for you, but they have each section. Habitat, and then this one down here is about diet. So if we were finding our treasure words, like we did here, we would take those words and write them on our note paper. So I'm going to right here, even though my animal is a sea otter, I just want to show you what I would do and write down that on my notes. I know it's already about what they eat, so I don't even have to write that as a full sentence. I'm just going to write down meadow plankton and small insects. So if my animal was about a poison dart frog, I would know what they ate. And that's how I would write it down in my notes to use for when I write my paper. And we'll see how to do that next. But today I want to show you about note taking. So let's go back. Here's what your notes look like in your canvas. They're all right here. And we're only going to focus on these two categories today. We're going to focus on habitat and diet. And the next day we'll focus on the other two, which is what they look like and our interesting facts. Okay, so we have various places that we could look to find information. If you go into your Clever, you could use Discovery Ed. Here's the app for that, Discovery Ed. You can press on this and it will open up. And in the search bar, which is up here, that little looking glass, you would press that and type in your animal. I typed in the word sea otter and then I hit search and I'll see what comes up. There's lots of videos I could watch. Here's one from Reading Rainbow. They're not very long. You'd be able to watch a few. Here's um, how do sea otters stay comfortable and warm. Here's one that's only two minutes long. Here's sea otters eating. That might be helpful in telling me what sea otters eat. Ooh, here's one that says brown, black, gray. So I'm wondering if this might help me when I'm looking for what they look like. 
And here might be some interesting facts. This heading says sea otters lie on their backs in the water. Um, so I could look at all of these videos if I wanted to and find out some great information. And when they answer any of the questions that I've asked on my planning page, that's what I would use as a treasure word and write them on my notes page. Okay? I want to show you another place you could look for information. So let's come out of there. You have an Epic app on your, on your iPad. So you could click into your Epic app. This is my Epic app. And you can search for books that way. So up here, again, with the And I'm going to search Sea Otter. At first I see it comes up as Sea Anemones clownfish, sea anemones, so I know that it's using that C word to find me other books. But if I scroll down, I can see, oop, here's some sea otters. Here's another sea otters. Here's some videos about sea otters. Lots of information I can find. Now, I could also, if I wanted to, make sure that I was finding a nonfiction book. You can click on here. And it will give me that choice, fiction or nonfiction. And I know I want nonfiction because I want facts. So again, it'll just bring up those nonfiction factual things that Epic is offering me about sea otters. And when you see this purple band down here, that says that it's an audiobook. So if I clicked on that one, it's going to read it for me, which might be nice too if you want it to be read to you. Okay, so it's going to read us our book, and then we can flip our pages and go through and see if we have any notes that we want to write down. Okay, the other thing you could do is you could use your Safari on here, which is down here at the bottom. You could use your Safari on, the, on your app screen. And this you could do a Google search. So up here in the search bar, or you can choose this Google button right here. And that takes you to Google. In the search bar, you could search your animal. Now, if I was doing a search on sea otters, I would make sure that I put in sea otter for kids. Only because it's going to use words that are easy for me to understand. So when you look up sea otters for kids or sea otter facts for kids, you would be able to see things. Here's some videos for me to look at. Here's Kids National Geographic. That's usually a great place to find some information. So I'm going to click on this. And you can see all kinds of information. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. It's going to show me their size, how much they weigh. Right here it says diet. So these are things I'm going to learn when I'm looking at this page. They snack on aquatic creatures such as sea urchins, crabs, squid, octopus, and fish. So right there, it's already underlined for me. I can take those treasure words and put them right on my note paper. Now we know these are about the dart frogs, so I'm just going to cross those off and write down here what I've learned about sea otters. They eat crabs, fish, squid, octopus. I wonder how that tastes. Okay, and also they mentioned sea urchins. There's so much. What else can I find? I'm also looking for today, I'll be looking for habitat, so where they live. So hopefully we'll be able to see it. And right here, again, underlined for me. So this is a great website for you to use. 
They can be found along the coasts of the Pacific Ocean in North America and Asia. So I was right in that they might not live in all oceans, Pacific Ocean and Asia in North America, which is our continent. See how I'm not writing complete sentences? I'm sort of using a bullet. This is called a bullet point. I'm just taking notes and listing things. So here they're even showing me a map. Here they're even showing me a map of where they are. Okay, so, and this yellow part is where sea otters live. I would keep going and finding some more information. This is a great website, so I'm so excited. Um, there's a slideshow. It's going to show me pictures. So if I were to, when I get to the point, look how cute they are, of drawing pictures, I can maybe use something like this to help me. Aww. All right, so you'll see there's so many things for us to look, look at. And I can click on videos. There might be some videos for me to look at. So again, if I wanted to go back into my search bar, back to Google, I could type again and find a different website to look at. See, whoops, I spelled it wrong. I'll just try that again. Sea Otter Facts for Kids. So this one, it's hard to see on the camera, but it's highlighted in a different color. This is the one I've already looked at. It's purple compared to the other ones that are blue. So I could click on one that I know that I haven't looked at yet. And here are some other things I could read and find out. Okay. So this is so exciting. Tells me how big they are. This also tells me where where they are, where they live, and how they grow and what they eat. So you can look at all kinds of different information. Here are some of their behaviors. So again, so much information out there for you to find. I could look for hours. And as long as you just answer those questions that you've come up with, and today we're only working on these two categories, habitat and diet. So those are the only two questions you have to answer. And um, it's so exciting. So have fun researching. And if you have any questions, contact your teacher. I'm sure you will find lots of great information. Have fun, guys.